paragraph right there on the right hand side of your screen there, the man in the brown coat. He's holding the paper in his hand and uh, he's coming over toward us. Let's see if we can if we can get a word with him. We'll keep watching here uh, as uh, the sheriff yeah. uh, comes out of this hotel and, yeah. and uh, toward the, well, actually this is uh, in Boone County. They've been very Zionsville. judicious throughout the entire day, John, um, informing uh, viewers and informing the news media of what's been going on literally every hour at the top of the hour. And as you can see there, this is uh, where the crime scene is. This is in Boone County. Let's now listen in. Effort. Lucius Hamilton III was located at a Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Indianapolis. Local law enforcement officials attempted to make contact with Hamilton in his room. He was found deceased from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. I cannot be poor, more proud of all of the law enforcement officers involved today. Agencies from across the state, including our federal partners, offered every resource available to locate Hamilton. We were able to utilize these resources to work, process, secure the scene. Through many investigative techniques, we were able to track Hamilton down to a specific location in downtown Indianapolis where he cowardly took his life instead of choosing to face justice for his actions. My heart goes out to the Gill family and to those first responders that had to witness this horrific scene today. I'll take any questions we that have you have. Right now, sure. We do not. I hope to share that with you in the next couple of hours. Was anyone else injured in this? No one else was injured in this in this issue. At the time? In this home, yes. no one else was in the home at the time. Did you say one gunshot wound? He, he shot himself once? Or he, what, did. What we, did he, he did. We know that there was two shots fired. One of those shots came through the door. I'm waiting to gain further information from the federal partners and from uh, ISP SWAT that actually served the uh, uh, warrant down there. Can you explain, he, did he come here, then go to Wabash, then go to downtown? Explain what happened. We're still putting that timeline together, and I assure you that that, that will be documented and given to you here with the, with the next news media release. Do you have any surveillance video that does show what happened inside the home? That's uh, ongoing investigation. I don't want to compromise that, but we are looking at all of the surveillance video that we can. How many shots in the home? We don't know that at this point. Can you explain how you found him so quickly downtown. The cooperative effort between local, state, and federal agencies. That's exactly how we found him. Any tips or anything like that from the public? Uh, none. None. But what I can tell you is this a prime example of law enforcement and all public safety agencies in this state and this country working together to solve a crime, a hideous crime that took place within eight hours. And I'd say that that's pretty good effort on everybody's part. What time what did that go down relate? at the hotel? Um, just within, I think within the last uh, 45 minutes is when all that transpired. What kind of relationship did Hamilton have with Gil? I know he's her, he was her uncle prior to today. What kind of relationship to family? Was it a normal uncle? You know, I'm not, I don't know that yet. And unfortunately, our work has just begun because even though that he took his life, we still have to investigate this to find out exactly what occurred here, okay? And part of that is digging into the family issues, trying to find out the motive, and all of those types of things. So our work has really just begun. Any known family issues? I do not know of that at any point right now. How long what happens, you what happens next here for you folks? Well, our, our main goal is to try, try to secure the scene here. Our evidence, our evidence technicians are still working uh, from different agencies to secure the scene. We want to make sure that we document everything. We also want to make sure that our command staff is briefed on what the next step is. And we're getting ready to have that briefing now. As soon as I have that briefing, I'll come back out and tell you kind of what our next step is. Any reason to believe if there was forced entry or she opened the door for him to come in? Is that? I don't know that at this point in time. Do you know if you used his real name to check into that hotel downtown? I don't know that at this point in time. Do you know the murder weapon was that recovered? Did he have that with him at the hotel? I don't know that at this point in time. Okay. Sheriff, do you know if this was uh, Catherine's birthday today? Yes, it was. And um, her 31st birthday? Yes. It was her 31st birthday today. And we've done this girl justice and that little baby justice. So um, it's sad that it had to happen today. It's had, sad that it had to happen at all. But what I can tell you is that in eight hours we solved this crime. And that's what it's all about right there with everybody working together. So, yes, it was her birthday today. What kind of person kills, shoots and kills a four-year-old? I think I said that earlier in a statement, just somebody that is... Uh, Totally on a I cannot even imagine that. I have a 25 year old daughter that's working that crime scene as an evidence technician, and I look at that and see what she had to see today, and it'll affect her for the rest of her life. And not only her, but every young police officer that has seen this will be affected by this. 
But I hope what they see is overall law enforcement and public safety working together to come to this conclusion today, which is a resolution. It may not have turned out the best, but you know what? We put this person in the place that he needed to be. It's here. We're done with it. And now we've got to make sure that we do justice for this family by documenting everything that took place and figuring out what that motive was. Any reason to believe anybody else was aware of something like this happening before it happened? We're still looking at that, but there's no reason to believe that at this point in time. Thank you. We'll be back in an hour. Thank you.